we have a juicy topic for you today. What is sexual liberation? <laughs> <laughs> sexual liberation. Yeah, what is sexual liberation? Of our juicy nation. <laughs> what is sexual liberation? Mm. What is sexual liberation? Liberation of your sexual energetic of your sexual energy, of your erotic fire, mm. removing the obstacles, removing the shame and the guilt and all the sexual conditioning and all these frames that are trapped in our systems after years and years of conditioning through culture and education. It's like, why is there shame around sex? Right. How does it feel when this shame is gone, when this guilt is right. gone? Right, right. Yeah. 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 Are you sexually liberated? I'm, th I'm pretty sexually liberated. Yes, you are. <laughs> How do you know? How does that feel in your system? I feel so free. I don't. I don't have a lot of blocks when it comes to sexuality. Mm -hmm. to... I noticed that. <laughs> That's yeah. so funny. It's true. Well, I remember. Um, I actually went through a period of time, which was my the period of sexual liberation. It was about five years ago. And I had been, I f it felt like my body and my system and my life had been kind of contained in this very traditional way of being, like this American way of being. And I felt like I wanted to break out of a cage. And it was around that time that I went to Burning Man and actually I met a lover who was, you know, kind of helped me on this journey. And I just started kind of unleashing any, unleashing myself and exploring territories that really just opened me up. I mean, I know that's kind of vague, but Really what happened was the more I be just allowed myself to be who I am and how I want to be and experience energy the way I want to experience and saying yes to all of life, mm. the more I became liberated and the more I became sexually liberated. They happened mm. side by side. Side by side. My like own that. liberation. Mm -hmm. That's so beautiful. I can testify this woman is has a very high degree of sexual liberation in her. Yeah, for instance, I, I see it in the way you move, you know, in the way you right. breathe, in the mm -hmm. sounds, in the way you dance. It's mm -hmm. always so anchored in sensuality and pleasure. So right. it's very powerful. Mm -hmm. For me, the, the, you know, the moment where it really did strike me was I was in a cave in the Himalayas like some years back. I was preparing to go to Burning Man as well. Burning Man seems to be a good yeah, anchor for sexual good liberation. Good place to become But sexual I, I was over there and everything in my brand is vital coaching, right? Vital Tantra, vital vital activations and so on. So the, suddenly the, the idea of um, vital sex emerged and I was like, what is this thing? And I realized that on a planetary level, you know, we don't perform really high in terms of sexual liberation or, or optimization of our sexual energy. And so what emerged there was really the realization that we have a, a whole lot of conditioning in our system that holds us back. And so, you know, I did dive deeper into this idea of vital sex. What does it mean? And then I took these workshops all the way to Burning Man. We were diving into liberating our sexual energies. Yeah. And what's really interesting with that is that nobody got naked. There was no 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 sexual touch. Uh, it was it was an internal practice. It was moving sexual energies inside of us. Yes. And what uh, what was really interesting is that you don't require a partner to liberate your sexual energies. No. You know? One yeah. evening we did that with a group of men, you know, we were like 25 men and we were like breathing and shaking and activating energies. And by the end of this, you know, of this practice after half an hour, we were on fire. We were in a, in a state of really high erotic activation. And, uh, you know, there was nobody touched anybody. We were just in that space building up that kind of sexual liberation with a group of men. So it really stretches the limits of, of what's, you know, what's, what's possible and what it means. Yeah. yeah. There's so many frames around like what is, um, okay and what is right and what is wrong. And more, we don't even, we're not even consciously aware of how we cap this energy within ourselves. We hold it tightly and we have all these blocks. And so you can just slowly start to feel like what, 
what is it doesn't even have to be sexual sensual like what feels good yeah and can i allow myself to be in my body in a way that feels pleasurable feels good mm. what is that what experience is that? and then just moving with it and starting to open yourself up to like new possibilities of for me it's like enjoy it's pleasure in my body enjoyment mm. in my body mm. bliss in my body exactly orgasmic yeah. energy in my body there's a confusion very often that we have that sexual liberation means having lots of partner oh, and yeah. having wild sex with lots of people having orgies and stuff like that it's i don't think that's what we are talking no, about at all for we're me, talking about an internal experience yeah right? it's like a personal inner yes yes i can be in whatever state i want to be in if that's orgasmic yes if that's uh in fire rage that's a yes if that if it's nurturing soft yes like yes. there's yeses to anything yes. that my system wants to process any energy that wants to move through yeah and if you um you know if you wonder how sexually liberated you are you can do a few tests run a few tests the first one is like start to breathe Ah, and start doing orgasmic sounds mm. and see how it feels in your system. Another one is uh, start having sexual conversations with people. You know, you meet a stranger and you go like, I want to tell you about my last orgasm. The last to time. To me, that wouldn't be sexually liberated. No? No. No. <laughs> oh, here we go. Um, I, I find that uh, the, the frames or how, how we can engage into conversations with, with people about our sexual experiences mm. is, is like an, an indication about yeah how how much shame or how much guilt there is uh, around that right. um i mean us you know for instance voicing all that and talking mm -hmm. about sex on on camera means that we are probably extremely sexually liberated maybe <laughs> 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 we'll come back soon with more ideas on this one eh bye bye mm.